Hi guys, I hope you're doing well and in this video we're going to be discussing about how the price elasticity of supply varies that is it changes along the supply curve. Now we know that supply curve is upward sloping and we've also discussed about what price elasticity of supply is and mostly students know what PES is, they know how to make the diagrams for PES, they also know what factors affect PES but this is a common question that often comes in the MCQs in AS for which students get confused but do not worry make sure that you watch this video till the end and i promise you all your confusions will be clear after the end of this video so guys let's jump straight into it now we've already studied that if price elastic supply would be greater than one the supply would be elastic if pes would be less than one it would be inelastic if pes is equal to one it is unitary elastic if pes equals to zero it is perfectly inelastic if pes equals to infinite it is perfectly uh, elastic right and if ps equals to zero it is perfectly inelastic ps equals to infinite it is perfectly elastic now guys i'm not going to be running you through what perfectly elastic per per perfectly inelastic means because i'm assuming that you're giving your as mcq exams so you must already know that right now uh, we are basically discussing how will the ps change along the supply curve now guys remember that as far as these three cases are you know concerned that is as far as PES equals to 1, that is unitary elastic, perfectly inelastic, and perfectly elastic. As far as these three special cases are concerned, remember that the PES always stays constant throughout the supply curve. The PES will not change as you move up the curve. It stays constant. Now, what do you mean by that? We'll come to that. But as far as the PES is greater than 1, that is as far as the elastic supply curve is concerned and the inelastic supply curve is concerned, that is when PES is less than 1, your PES changes. Remember guys, it will change. Your PES changes as you move up the curve. Now let's see what do we mean by that. So for if in the first example in diagram A, we have our first example where the PES equals to 1, that is it is unitary, right? The PES equals to unitary, that is unitary elastic, which is obviously it means equal, it is equals to 1. Whenever the supply curve equals to 1, that is it equals to unitary, the supply curve always starts from the origin and it moves upwards, right? So supply curve is upward sloping, but it starts from the origin, right? Now guys, remember that whenever the supply curve would start from the origin, the PS would be equal to 1 and it would be constant throughout the curve. That is on any point um, on the supply curve, the elasticity would always be equal to 1. Now in some of the cases in the MCQs, they also test you. They basically draw 2 to 3 uh, supply curves as well. Maybe, you know, they can draw another supply curve maybe like this, right? And they ask you that what is the elasticity for all these supply curves, that is S1, S2, and S3. Now guys, remember that all these three supply curves are starting from the origin, which obviously means that your um, PES should be equal to one. That is, it should be equal to unitary. For, for S1 as well, for S2 as well. Although S1 is more steeper and S2 is less steep than S1, it is more flatter, but that's just telling about the slope. I mean, this the the, the steepness of S1 and the steepness of S2 is just um, indicating the slope of the curve. While the price elasticity is not the slope, right? That's different. The, the price elasticity is considering the percentage changes. It's not the slope of the curve, right? So as far as S1 and S2 or maybe let's say S3 is concerned, if we draw it like this, it's talking about this, it's it's basically indicating the slope of these curves. S1 is more steeper, S2 is less steep, and maybe S3 is more, even less steeper, or you could say it's more flatter, right? But for all these three curves, guys, for all these three curves, you can make as many curves as you want. For all these three curves, starting from the origin, your price elasticity of supply would be equal to one, that is equal to unitary, and it would be constant throughout the curve as we move up the curve. As we move up the curve, it would be constant throughout, right? So yeah, moving forward, so S1 and S2 have different slopes, but for both, it is constant throughout. Now the third scenario, that is the diagram C is telling us that PES equals to zero, that is it is perfectly inelastic. Now guys, remember that whenever supply would be perfectly inelastic, the PES would be, the value of PES would be up equal to zero. And how is it drawn? It is drawn like a vertical straight line that starts from the quantity axis, the x-axis and move upwards. For this also, remember guys, PES is zero throughout the curve, that is it is constant. It will not change you know, as you move up the curve. Okay, so these three special scenarios, the third scenario, in fact, that is diagram D is telling us that um, whenever your supply curve starts from the vertical axis and it is, a, it is a horizontal straight line, it indicates that the PES is basically infinite, right? The value of PES is equals to infinity. And whenever PES is infinity, um, 
it is it is drawn by drawing a horizontal straight line that is starting from the price axis the uh, no, right your vertical axis and your sub and basically your elasticity for this uh, supply curve as well is constant throughout the supply curve okay it will not change as you um, move along the curve now as far as the f this diagram is concerned as far as diagram e and f is concerned now this diagram is important this is telling you guys that your supply so if you are asked to draw a supply curve for example in the exam if you're asked to draw a supply curve that is elastic right so remember whenever the supply curve is elastic that is ps is greater than one it would mean it's elastic now an elastic supply curve is drawn upward sloping starting from the vertical axis that is a price axis and i've drawn it like this for example the supply curve starts from the vertical axis that is a price axis and the ps would always be greater than one but guys here the ps will change as you move up the curve if p if supply curve starts from the vertical axis that is a price axis the ps is greater than one indicating it is an elastic supply however guys remember what i've written is however as you move up the curve the elasticity decreases that is ps decreases as you move up the curve so two things are very important for this diagram remember that ps would be greater than one right it is starting from the vertical axis and as you move up the curve right as you move up the curve the ps would basically go down it would basically decrease the ps would go down it would elasticity would decrease as you go up the curve right yeah but overall it will be greater than one but the coefficient or the value of elasticity would basically decline it would start declining but it that does not mean that it, it would become less than one it won't become less than one it's basically uh, the overall curve is elastic but then again the value of the coefficient would start to go down um as in as you move up the curve, the PS would basically decrease. Now, there's one more thing. Um, it can also be tested in the MCQs. At this point, remember, when it is when the supply curve starts, when the supply curve touches the vertical or the price axis, the PS would be equal to infinite at this point, okay? So at this point, PS is always equal to infinite. You must be knowing this uh, for your MCQ purposes, okay? Now, as far as... Uh, now, you guys don't need to know the mathematical explanation why the PS goes down. I mean, um, it's not required maybe i can make some other video some other day for it but as far as your for your asmcqs is concerned yeah as far as this knowledge would be enough for you to uh, make to ensure that your mcq gets correct now this diagram that is the last diagram is telling us that your pes is basically less than one that is it is inelastic whenever the supply curve is inelastic right it would always be drawn by touching the it will it will start from the horizontal axis that is the quantity axis right so it will start from the quantity axis which will indicate that the value of pes throughout the supply curve is less than one so the overall supply curve is inelastic right because it is starting from the quantity axis and that because it is starting from the quantity axis it also makes it steep we know that the slope of an elastic supply curve is steep and we can see it from this diagram so yeah but remember the elasticity will change as you move up the curve that is however as you move up the curve right as you move up the curve its elasticity rises that is pes rises as you move up the curve so what we are talking about is that yes overall the pes is inelastic that is the value is less than one but as you move up the curve the pes rises that is the value of pes rises but still it would be less than one but the coefficients would start increasing so maybe it could be at 0.2 in the start right and then it rises to maybe 0.5 or 0.6 but you can see that the value the 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 value of the pes would actually increase as you move up the curve so this is something that you need to know and a lot of students do not know this and it is often tested in the mcus that they draw the they draw the supply curve and then they give you an option that you know it's an inelastic but so usually students know that this is an inelastic supply curve but they do not know that the value of pes would increase as you move up the curve right also guys remember that whenever this inelastic supply curve is touching the horizontal axis at this point the value would be equal to zero this is another thing that you need to know so whenever this inelastic supply curve touches the quantity axis that is the x-axis at this point the value of ps would be equal to zero yeah so these are the rules that you need to know as far as your um, um as in your um, supply curve is concerned elasticity is concerned what i've written over here is whenever supply curve starts from the horizontal axis that is the quantity axis the ps is less than one that is ps is inelastic but yeah as you move the curve it basically rises so yeah that's about it guys i think uh, i'm done with this video so yeah that's about it i hope you enjoy it and i hope you understood these concepts as well so i'll see you all around in the next video until then take care